So we're going to start by doing a labiaplasty. So if she's bothered by the excess skin here to the inner labia. It's bulky, it sticks out beyond the outer labia. She feels like there's a little bit of a camel toe when she's wearing tighter fitting clothes or working out or wearing a swimsuit. So we're gonna be doing a labiaplasty here to sculpt all that extra skin down, remove it all, and make it much more tucked in and sleek and tidy. She's also bothered by the asymmetry. So the left labia menorah is significantly larger than the right labia menorah, which is not unusual. No two sides are exactly identical twin sisters. And so we have a little bit more here to remove, um, but we'll match, we'll match that with the right side and remove the extra on the right side as well. And they'll have a much more tucked in look at the end. So we've done our marks to try to make it even and symmetrical here. And now we're going to start removing that extra skin. So we finished the labiaplasty on the right side with a significant difference for her. So we removed all that extra skin on the right side. Now we're gonna start on the left side and remove all the extra skin here that I've marked to make it even and symmetrical with the right. She's gonna do great. We're all done with the labiaplasty. What an amazing dramatic difference for her. So we removed all that extra skin here on the right. And then she had some significant skin here on the left that we also removed. We've made both sides even and symmetrical. She's gonna heal beautifully. We also, in conjunction, did a vaginal plasty to tighten up the vaginal canal as well as the muscles at the opening of the vagina.